Finally, your employee evaluation is complete, but you want to make sure that everything is spelled correctly. So when we take a look down here, we can visually see that there are some words that are indeed spelled incorrectly. So let's go to spell check up here on the quick access toolbar to help us out. But wait, it's been disabled. Why is that? Well, Microsoft disables the spell check feature when certain cells are protected. So I found a workaround. We're going to create a little mini program called a macro that's going to temporarily take the protection off the spreadsheet, do a spell check, and then put the protection on in one click of the mouse. Here's how we do it. The view tab in the ribbon houses the macro button. So let's give it a click. We're going to call this macro spell check for evals. Then we're going to click on create. In the interest of time, I'm just, I just pasted in the actual code here. One thing about the code is this section right here, where it says unprotect, quote, one, two, three. The one, two, three is just a holding spot. We need to put in the code or the password that we used for the spreadsheet to protect it. Same thing down below here where we need to go back and protect it again. We're just putting in the secret code or the secret password. Now let's try this out. I'm going to apply it to this button right here. What's this button? It's the company logo. We put the company logo in by going to insert over to illustrations and choosing picture and finding the picture and putting the company logo right in the actual form. That's going to serve as our button so that anyone can spell check this form. Once the picture is in, I right click the picture and select assign macro from the list. The macro is spell check for evals. I click on OK. Now I want to make sure that everything in the spreadsheet is spell checked. So when I click on mini on sites, the logo button, it activates the macro. And right here, the first one that shows up is the word required, as we saw down below. So I'm going to click on change. And then it's going to go to the word support. And we can click on change here too. So that's how you get the workaround for the spell check of any form that is protected. Hope you enjoyed it. Good luck.